Hey guys, it's Echo. Welcome back to Echoia. I have received a lot of questions about how I do my lettering on my Surface Pro in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to take a little bit of time today and share with you guys um, my top tips, I guess. One thing that I've been doing lately is that I use the line tool, line segment tool in Illustrator. And right now I'm working with a wireless mouse before I lay my surface flat. And I'm going to create a line here and I'm going to go up here to object transform, whoops, here transform, move, and I'm going to move it horizontally zero points and vertically I'm going to move it down minus uh, 20. And then I'm going to click in a different field to just see where that moved to. I think that's probably pretty good for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click copy and then I'm going to hold down control and press D on my keyboard to create a third line. Now I'm going to zoom in to 300%, which is about what I usually work in. I'm going to grab this middle line, go to stroke, dash the line, and it looks pretty good. So the default that I got this time, what was already there, let's see, oops, you guys, I'm a terrible clicker, two points. So if yours starts at a higher um, interval, I guess, <laughs> then you'll need to change that down or you can keep it bigger. Whatever works for you is fine. Now I'm going to click and drag over all three, change my color um, to a lighter color and change my stroke weights up here to uh, 0.25 points. And then if I feel, oh no, my cat's here. <laughs> if I feel like that's not standing out enough, then I would rather make it darker than make it thicker. I'm going to go into my layer panel. I'm going to lock that because I'm just going to make the one and then anything I, I draw, I will drag off of it when I want to do something new and create a new layer for letters. So I'll just call it letters one for now. Now, before you get started actually lettering, there are some settings you need to check on in the surface app, which I am going to open from my taskbar because I have it pinned there you can either click get started or you can click um, on the little pen icon on the left side and they will take you to the same place. And your pen pressure setting should probably default to seven, but I like to actually write with it at three. So that's quite a bit different. It does reset. So if you're new to lettering and you find yourself frustrated because one day everything's working fine and then you turn off your, your surface and you come back to it a couple days later or later on the same day and you turn it on and nothing is right and it's big blobby letters that you don't like, make sure to open your surface app and check it again. That is why I keep mine, like I said, pinned down in my taskbar so that I can always access it quickly. I'm going to create a new brush for my letters, which is just in the drop down and then new brush, new calligraphic brush. I am going to change the angle of this and change the shape of it a little bit. I don't want it to be too, I keep grabbing the wrong spot. I don't want it to be too narrow like that. I like it to be a little bit fatter. I used to like more narrow brushes, but lately I like them to be fatter. And the only other thing I'm going to change is this diameter where the variation is just going to be set to nothing. If you don't change this, you want to change it to pressure. And then if I have a nine point brush, I like to use a variation of seven points. The reason for this is that right here, you're going to have a very small point that probably isn't going to show up on the camera. And then with the heaviest pressure, you're going to get a brush almost twice as big as your medium pressure brush. You can name this if you want. We'll just call it butter brush one for now. And then it'll be in your drop down. And when you hover over it, your name for it will pop up so you can find it later. All right, I have now laid my surface flat. So I'm trying to find the right place to adjust you guys to so that I can um, see to write, but also you guys can see kind of what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna double click over here on my brush icon. And then you'll see there's a couple of settings up here called tolerances. So fidelity and smoothness. I think that our instinct when we wanna do lettering for the first time in Illustrator is to crank that smoothness all the way up. And I'm gonna show you guys why that's a terrible idea. <laughs> it sounds like it's a good plan, like it'll be helpful, but you, you draw your letter and it overcorrects it so much because it doesn't want to have any kind of jitter 
that it's just unrecognizable and it's pretty much just worthless too. So I'm going to open that back up and I generally just keep my smoothness to zero. There are occasions to move it up and I will talk about those um, in a minute, but I also keep my fidelity around six. Your fidelity is how close your pen stroke translates to what Illustrator makes out of it, if that makes sense. So it goes to half a, um, from half a pixel all the way up to 20 pixels. Now, just like with the smoothness, I said I'd tell you guys in a minute, the, the fidelity, I will crank it all the way up and the smoothness all the way up if I am doing print letters. So if I want to write more straight lines and I don't want them to have any waver and wiggle in them, then um, cranking those all the way up is very helpful. But I'm not doing that right now. So I want my smoothness to be down here at zero. And I'm going to keep my fidelity. I usually range it from six to eight, all the way up to maybe 15 for cursive lettering. Now I find the Navigator and Illustrator to be really helpful when I'm writing. I like to make sure that I am, you guys can't see the Navigator, okay. So the Navigator, I keep it in this little bar of tools over here. If yours isn't open, go up to Window and then they're alphabetized, so make sure that Navigator is has a check mark next to it. And then it'll pop open over here. And it's because you have a little box that you can drag around inside your artboard to go to different parts and you'll be able to see everything you draw. You can see the, the little um, guide that I made here. And you can also use these keys to zoom in and out on your project. So those are my top tips for getting started with a Surface Pro and a Surface Pen in Adobe Illustrator for people who are interested in hand lettering. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will try to help you if I can. I'm not an expert, I just like to share things that I learn. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.